Okay, so the first card is the Prince of Swords. So you might be dealing with a very difficult uh, situation in the form of uh, a legal matter. Um, there's been some kind of, um, you may be waiting for some communication to come in because you've got Mercury sitting there in Gemini waiting for news to come in about it uh, or waiting for a decision to be made at this particular moment. So it is coming in pretty quickly. Uh, you've got that knight coming in pretty fast over there. You've got the seven of swords over here. So whatever decision that you have been so it is a legal decision you've got mercury again here in gemini over here uh but with the seven of swords it's usually about deception lies cheating uh theft uh, loss so you've been dealing with a very uh, whoever you've been dealing with in this legal situation has been using a lot of lies and manipulation to get their way um and uh it seems like uh you know you know they've been uh, um maybe pulling the wool over everybody's eyes as well, speaking a lot of untruth. Because, you know, Mercury um, in Gemini is about communication. So whatever they've been saying has been very, very lying, uh, very deceptive, and they've been speaking a lot of lies. And now you're waiting for this particular, and, it, you know, it's involved some kind of legal um, matter as well, and now you're waiting for this decision to come in. Now, it looks like there might be some kind of payoff coming in. You've got the Three of Pentacles that follows. Um, so, um... This is about money coming in. Uh, this could also be about you, you know, um, starting a new job or being very, very focused on your work. But now that it's falling, you know, below the um, these two legal cards, I think that whatever comes in uh, with this legal decision is going to bring in new money. Now, this could be even, you know, there's been a lot of lies and deception going on in your work situation. You've been dealing with some kind of legal judgment within the work situation. You're waiting for some kind of decision to come in, and it means that, you know, it's um, it's about work. It's about maybe signing new contracts or maybe involved with uh, with something to do with work some communication going on in work because you've got mercury then in um um Capricorn over here. So, you know, it's about um, uh, some kind of legal decision or some kind of uh, official decision that's going to be made in work. But it looks like there is going to be some kind of payoff as well uh, once this particular legal decision comes in. So it's money that is coming in uh, as a result of whatever this legal decision is. Now, you've got the judgment card over here and it's ruled by Pluto. So there's an ending of old cycles over there and start something, starting something brand new. And this is what you've been doing. You've been changing the way you do things or maybe you've You've even changed career paths or changed some kind of direction in your life uh, and taken more authority, more power as well. It's something that you're very passionate about. You've got that Scorpio um, uh, sign of, of ruling it as well. So it's something you're very passionate about, but you've ended up old situation because Pluto is generally the card of endings. But whatever you've been dealing with, you know, whatever that past situation was, there's a lot of regret, remorse, upset that was associated with it. Like I said, there's a lot of lies and deception that's there. You've got Neptune uh, there in Scorpio. So whatever it is, uh, you know, there was a lot of untruth going on over here. And, um, you know, somebody uh, really, um, you know, uh, pulled the wool over your eyes or somebody really lied to you. They let you down. They betrayed you quite a bit with this Five of Cups. And you're pretty much uh, pretty upset about what is going on. And maybe this is the reason why there's this legal decision or legal case that is going on. And it's still got a lot of lies uh, and loss going on, especially with that Seven of Swords over here. So going into the future, there is a the Lovers. Uh, so a decision to be made or a decision that will that you will have to make some kind of major decision and this is choosing something uh, what to do next really um you've got uh, you're doing a lot of thinking about it you've got that mercury in gemini so it's something that you must consider very carefully uh, weigh all the options before you make that big decision it might be you know um this could be even that separation or or, or even finding a, a new partner in life or finding a new partner to do something with working with somebody else um but also find making that decision or making a choice. But that choice needs to be made after a lot of research and a lot of consideration. Then you've got the full card over here. So this is brand new beginnings. So the endings uh, of, of difficult cycles and the beginning of something brand new. So you're going to take that leap of faith. You're going to take a chance and move forward. So you're making that de the decision about what you want to do and how you want to change things and how you want to move forward. So whatever this legal um, settlement or case that comes out, it gives you the power now or the opportunity to make some big decision to move forward with that uh, card of the fool. Okay, so those are the energies for that week. So it looks like there's a lot happening uh, in that week. 
So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Tarot of the Spirit World. And this is for the main read. So you've got the eight of uh, wands over here. Things starting to move on pretty quickly. Whatever has been restricting you, whoever has been restricting you, that energy is now moving away. You can see this demon is moving away. So they have found themselves another interest, and it seems like they're going on. Now you need to do some research into whatever this uh, issues that you're facing. You're still facing a lot of problems. You've got a lot of wands over there. So dealing with a lot of problems, you need to do some research and find out exactly what to do next make a plan this could also be you know there's this might be a time for you to start studying or or taking up something where you specialize in whatever you're doing with the eight of wands it's about things moving on news coming in and um you know um things changing and it looks like you're going to be very very busy soon doing this so you've got uh, the Queen of Cups and you've got the Knight of Wands so you know it seems like you're doing a lot of self reflection Whatever you have been facing with this Queen of Cups, you're still upset about it, still depressed about it. But also, it seems to have taken its toll on you. You know, you're feeling very tired, very almost as though you aged prematurely. And, you know, you want to get back your vitality again. So it's really drained you, whatever the situation is that you've been going through. And you've got this Knight of Wands over here. So you might be thinking of t taking a holiday, traveling... You might even be thinking of uh, starting a job somewhere else or relocating, uh, moving home as well with this card. Maybe, you know, you want to get away, put an end to this old cycle that you've been going through and start afresh. And it looks like there's travel that's involved or definitely also maybe communicating with a lot of foreign people. Now, you've got that Seven of Swords pitching up again here in this read. So you have been dealing with a very, very difficult situation, very deceptive situation, and there has been a lot of lies and deceit and theft and things going on behind your back that you were not even aware of. So that is what you have been dealing with. So people sneaking around in the back, and you can see there's this really dark, shadowy thing going on over here. So it's been a very negative, toxic situation that you were dealing with. And there you can see it here as well. So this toxicity seems to have come for the seven of nine, uh, seven of wands, and the nine of wands. Very, very toxic. Very almost, you know, you can see this red devil over here. Lots of fire going on over here. So whatever you've been coping with, there's been a lot of drama, a lot of toxicity. You've been trying to defend yourself. Uh, you know, you can see this man's trying to put out the flames in this, in these rods, uh, so that they don't burn down. So you've been trying to defend whatever is valuable to you, um, defending all your beliefs or whatever it is you've been doing. Uh, there's been a lot of burdens and problems that you've been dealing with, and there's been a lot of drama that has been going on as well. So you've been dealing with that. So this is, you know, trying to protect the things that were important to you. And somebody has been very manipulative, and they've been stirring up a lot of problems. Now, what's in your mind? You just want this to end. You want that devil to go into the furnace of here, and you know you you've been working so hard to keep above uh, things, uh, and you just want things to end. So this is what's been on your mind. So you know you're worn out from whatever it is. It's taken its toll on you, and you're ready to drop everything and move forward. And you just want that uh, whoever's been causing these problems to just go away, really, to just you know disappear. Go back to where they came from. So you've got a lot of wands cards over here. Now, Leo is, uh, you know, fire sign. The wands rules the fire sign. In this particular deck, it's talking about all the different problems that you've been facing and the difficulties you've been uh, going through. Now, going to the future, you've got the Seven of Pentacles over here. So something new coming your way, a new investment. Maybe you will be spending a lot more time with your family, investing a lot of, of time or effort or even money in your into your family life or family situation. It seems like that is quite settled. Whatever relationship you have seems to be a rather happy one. And it looks like, you know, it's going to be more financially secure. So it looks like there's going to be a payment of payout of investment uh, for you. So whatever you've been working on is going to pay off. Now you've got, the, this is how you're feeling with this uh, Knave of Swords. You can see this man is climbing this cliff face and it's a very difficult climb to get the sword and the sword is buried with blood on it. So whatever legal situation you've been dealing with, that has been quite a messy situation. It's been very, very difficult and maybe it hasn't been going in your favor. The truth hasn't come to light and you know you are fighting against the forces that be. There's a lot of clouds over here so it's been a, a big uphill struggle for you and you are struggling 
you are struggling with this particular situation. Uh, nothing seems to be moving. Maybe the decision that you're waiting for hasn't been made just yet, and you're hoping that it's going to be a favorable outcome. There's blood on that sword over here, so it's been very, very toxic, very, very negative, and maybe it had had... Uh, you know, you've had a lot of loss associated with this particular um, issue that you're dealing with. Now, you've got the hangman over there, so you are waiting for news to come in. Uh, and, you know, you you have has been struggling. You've been suffering a lot in this particular situation. You are seeing things from a very different perspective right now, but there's a lot of lack you can see. This man is chained to this bell over here, so you are waiting for that news to come in, and you're hoping that it makes a big change uh, in your life as well. So... Uh, in your hopes and fears, you want to get shot off this person that is uh, controlling you. So somebody is very manipulative of you. You can see this devil has got this woman chained here and she's naked. So this person has attacked your self-confidence. It makes you feel very disempowered, but also they're very, very controlling. And this could be a work situation. Uh, this could be even a person that you're dealing with. Uh, you know, you've got that energy of Capricorn going through it, so it could be well that uh, kind of energy that you're dealing with as well. So you're trying to, um, you know, maybe get yourself out, unstuck from that particular position. So going into the future, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, uh, the Emperor, and um, you can see the Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, new money coming in. So it looks like, you know, uh, you can, uh, you know, Whatever has been holding you down has been putting you down. Whatever has been keeping you down is going to come. Uh, new money. It's going to be. You know, new money is coming in, so you're going to be released from that situation. This man is getting out from his bed, so it looks like this is going to be the thing, the money that makes you rise out of bed. So there's, there's. Uh, it could be a promotion. It could be some kind of financial payoff because you've got that seven of pentacles as well. So it's some kind of payoff coming in as well. But it's definitely money coming in. This could be a new job prospect as well that comes in for you, um, and it. Uh, whatever this position is, it's going to be a position of authority. So immediately afterwards, you've got this king uh, emperor donning this um, crown. So it's going to give you back authority, back position, uh, you know, more financial uh, clout. It's going to allow you to manage your money uh, in a better way. So whatever this job offer is or whatever this position is um, that's coming in is a position of leadership and authority. And it allows you to get back your confidence and it gets you back that money that you are waiting for. So there's uh, there's definitely more money coming in because you can see this family is very happy since this new money has come in. So whatever this promotion is, this job is coming in with this Ace of Pentacles, it looks like it's a position of authority that pays you very, very well and it allows you to uh, take back your control. And it looks like, you know, you can start doing some further study as well and that's going to even open the door for more money to come in. So, uh, you know, further training, further study, specialization is going to certainly bring in extra money, bring in the bread, as they say. So, um... The, you know, you are now starting to pick up as far as your finance goes, as far as your money goes, and it looks like whatever legal decision, uh, you know, you are dealing with, there might be a payoff from that as well. So whatever is coming out of that, you might, um, you are waiting for that decision to come out. But it looks like, you know, since that seven of pentacles is there, and, you know, uh, it's investments paying off, it looks like there might be a settlement after a very, very difficult legal case that you've been facing as well. And maybe you do need to take that holiday as well with that um King, a uh, knight of wands, uh, uh, you know, take, do some travel and recover from whatever is going on, whatever you've been through. So this is the animal tarot and this is for the oracle read. And the first one is the awakening, which is also the hangman. And it's about waiting for things. Uh, look at things from a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily, things will start moving on. So this is just a time for you to take stock, reassess what is going on before uh, things start getting really, really busy for you. So, you know, use this time productively because you've got that eight of wands over there, you know, as an opening energy. So all the things feel stuck right now. Uh, they are going to start getting really, really busy. You know, you might even be doing some travel. You've got two cards of travel, the eight of wands and that knight of wands over here. So there might be some foreign travel coming up for you, but also being very, very busy as well. So although you might feel a bit stuck right now, this is just a transition period and it will start moving very quickly soon. You've got the six of summer over here. Uh, the love and care of children could become important in your life uh, or people from your childhood may return. Old memories can be healed or possibly old childhood dreams are really ready to be revived. 
So this is somebody appearing from the past. This could be an offer coming in from somebody you knew in the past. But um, also this is time, a time that you might be spending a lot with family. And with that Seven of Pentacles, you can see they're spending a lot of time with family as well or, or with your own children. Uh, and enjoying their, you know, enjoying spending time with them. So this is, um, you know, you might might be making more time to spend with family. Maybe you've been focused so much on work uh, that you've actually neglected that aspect of your life. So it's time to refocus and, you know, get your priorities in order as well. And then you've got the two of autumn. You may un be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It is important to balance your work and your personal life and bring a spirit of fun into all that you do. So you are needing to balance that work and that family life. You have maybe neglected the family a little bit. So it's counseling for you with that six of summer to try and spend more time with your family. And with this two of autumn to try and balance that, get that balance between work and family life. And that is important or you will burn out. So you will need to make more time for your personal life. And, uh, you know, see work as work and see family life as being very important. Because at the end of the day, we never remember our work. We will always remember our family issues that we had to deal with. So make time for your family. Get that balance back again in order. You are going to be pretty busy soon. So, that, you know, you will be juggling a lot of things, uh, multitasking quite a bit. So just be aware that that is coming in. So even if you've got the hangman right now, very soon you're going to be, you know, uh, run off your feet if you like. Uh, so right now, take time to relax and time to recover so that you have the energy to be able to deal with a, um, a busy period that will be coming up soon for you. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.